To be better prepared against North Korea's growing nuclear threats, Seoul is devising a strategy to take out the regime's missile, bef- the missile bases rather, simultaneously if a conflict breaks out. It includes deploying more indigenously made missiles. Connie Kim fills us in on the triple defense posture. In the face of North Korea's growing nuclear threat, South Korea plans to significantly increase its arsenal of Hyunmu missiles, which in the event of conflict would be used to simultaneously destroy the North's ballistic missile bases. Exactly how many will be deployed has not been specified, but a South Korean government official said Sunday that Seoul's plan to establish what it calls a triple defense posture includes the addition of more surface-to-surface Hyunmu 2A and 2B missiles, which have a range of up to 500 kilometers, and Hyunmu 3 cruise missiles with a target range of 1,000 kilometers. The idea of establishing a triple defense posture was first mentioned by Defense Minister Han Minggu last month. The idea is to neutralize Pyongyang's missile threat in three ways. The Hyunmu missiles, which target the North's missile bases. The Korean Air and Missile Defense System, which is designed to shoot down missiles in flight. And the so-called kill chain, which would preemptively destroy missiles before they're launched. The plan comes as North Korea is believed to have up to 1,000 missiles it can fire from its three missile belts. The first belt with up to 600 Scud missiles. The second, with some 300 Nodong missiles having a range of up to 1,300 kilometers. And the third belt, which is armed with ICBMs and up to 50 intermediate range Musudan missiles. South Korea has been trying harder to deter and respond to Pyongyang's missile provocations, especially in the light of the North's seemingly endless drive for nuclear weapons. Next month, South Korea will equip its guided bombs with supposedly jam proof GPS technology from the U.S. military to more effectively counter the North's long-range multiple rockets. Connie Kim, Arirang News.